Welcome to our first assembly of the 2020-2021 school year. While we are not in person, we are all together and are working hard to make this school year the best it can be. We have many important updates today, so let's get started. Our embrace pillars mean that we always make visitors feel welcome. We would like any guests joining us virtually to be recognized. And now we have Jemma and myself to talk about an exciting new club on campus for all. Hello, Brandon Hall community. Hi, my name is Gemma Williams. I'm a senior here at Brandon Hall. I've been here for three years now and I'm from the Bahamas. Hi, I'm Jaden Moore. I'm a senior here at Brandon Hall School and I've been attending for three years now. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. We have an important matter to discuss with you today. Over the summer, there was an uprising of protests across the country, protesting the treatment of black people in America and for justice for people like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Elijah McCain. While this was going on, Jim and I didn't understand where we fit into it or how we could help our community and fight for change. So we understood our part would be to educate the people around us. So we bring to you the Black Student Union and Allies at Brandon Hall. This will be used to educate others on the issues we face today while also celebrating our history. We cannot do this alone. It takes everyone working together to make a change and it starts right now. We have some exciting events coming up and we would love for your input. Some ideas we have are socials with local entrepreneurs, community service projects, and some on-campus events. Thanks for listening. I hope you decide to join us in this fight for change. Stay tuned for more info. Thank you. And now for a quick slideshow of our students participating in their favorite afternoon activities. Time for a quick look ahead to coming attractions. Starting next week on Wednesday, we will have our first Panther Spirit Day. Dean Cundiff and Dean Mack will be in the lobby of the gym during lunch starting Thursday to take orders for Panther Spirit Wear. Please bring cash or credit card if you are interested in buying items. Brandon Hall pushes us to be global citizens and to live life of leadership, scholarship, and services. Please welcome Jaden and myself to tell us a few about a few upcoming opportunities. Members of the Student Leadership and Diversity Council hold an important position in the life and mission of Brandon Hall School. They are expected to be ambassadors who embody the Panther Pillars, approachable, reliable, and trustworthy, with high expectations of themselves and others. These individuals will take an active and visible role in all aspects of the school community, while working with others, students, teachers, parents, and community members to achieve the best possible outcomes. Members of the SLDC ensure that the student voice is represented and communicated in the appropriate forms. SLDC members are expected to be skilled public speakers whose roles include regular meetings with the head of school paper assembly, introducing guest speakers, helping facilitate and plan special functions and events, and also provide input into school decisions. If interested, please see Dean Mack and Dean Cundiff and Student Services for an application. We are eager to celebrate the first birthdays of the 2020 school year. Everyone, birthdays only come once a year, so join us in the birthday countdown. Three, two, two one. one. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Before we dismiss, Dean Mack and Dean Cundiff are here with some community reminders. Students, just want to say you all have been doing a fantastic job of following our health and safety measures. Keep that up. That, that's helping out tremendously. A couple important updates from me and Miss C that we want to talk about right now. You got an email from me yesterday, two days ago, regarding some important updates. One, the styrofoam cups and the coffee cups in the, in the dining hall. No one needs to be taking those outside anytime other than lunch. You don't need to leave the cafeteria, period. If you have a water bottle with a lid, that's okay. You can take that with you, but the cups, the styrofoam cups, the coffee cups, they do not need to leave the cafeteria, period. And to that point, we do not need to be taking two styrofoam cups at any point. Take one, use it, throw it away. 
If you need a water bottle, I still have a couple. Come find me and I will give you a water bottle. I only have a few left. First come, first serve. Secondly, AirPods and cell phones. At no point other than lunch, other than advisory, should you have your phone out homeroom, lunch, advisory, those are the only times you should have your phone out. And that's at the teacher's discretion. If you're doing something in those times that you don't need it, put it up. You don't need it in the hallway. Same thing with the AirPods. I don't need to see them. No one needs to see them in the hallways anytime other than lunch, advisory, and homeroom. Hey guys, Missy here. Just a few more reminders. Please make sure while you're at school, unless you're eating lunch, that you have your face mask on. This face mask must cover your nose and your mouth at all times. Also, when you're inside the buildings, you cannot wear hats or head coverings of any kind. This includes having your hood up from sweatshirts. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next week in person. Thanks for being a great audience. Next week, we'll have our first in-person physically distanced assembly of the 2020-2021 school year. We look forward to seeing you in person. Have a great day.